Good afternoon, uh, welcome in Cannes, a beautiful uh, sunny spring day. I would like to show you uh, Mirkap 6. Okay, now we are on the half deck, very spacious as you see. Uh, Mirgap 6 was uh, built uh, or delivered to a current owner in 2010, built by uh, Ackford Shipyard and uh, with an excellent designer uh, named uh, Glade Jet, uh, Johnson, uh, Synod designed for the interior and Diana Yachts for the naval architecture. Uh, you see that uh, this are uh, all inbuilt furnitures with storage, a um, lot of storage on this boat, that's a very interesting point. And the access to the, uh, to the bridge deck and both side, uh, sideways to uh, one is the entry for the guests on the starboard side and on port side is the entry for the crew. Mirgap 6 um, was built for uh, the current owner. Uh, it took, so I said it took delivery of, uh, in 2010 and uh, also run by the same captain for nine years. Uh, the boat has already, always been used for family purpose, never been chartered. And uh, it's a displacement <coughs> motor yacht, meaning that it's a steel hull and uh, it, the, the speed of the boat is uh, about 12 and a half uh, knots cruising speed. So it's a very comfortable um, vessel at sea, uh, very solid. Uh, very quiet as well. Uh, as you walk in the, the main saloon, uh, you will notice there are the several credenzas, which are great assets uh, for storage, uh, for all the service, uh, the catering uh, of the guests on board. Big sofas, um, big armchairs, very comfortable. You have, uh, that's probably some of the first yachts uh, that were built with um, with big windows from, uh, from ceiling to, to floor. And the bulwark behind um, is, is not plain, it's just completely, uh, the light goes through. So it creates more natural light uh, inside. Uh, the interior, uh, the wood uh, work is uh, sapelli uh, mahogany. And you have uh, all the stone is uh, honey onyx. And you see as the details, you will have a mother of pearl incrustated in the credenza. On the pillars, you have uh, stainless steel uh, incrustation and gold uh, plated um, uh, bases. From the main saloon forward, uh, we have the, the dining room. There's a separation uh, between the two. And so uh, you can sit, uh, it's dressed now for eight guests, but you can uh, sit 10 guests uh, total in the, in the dining room. On the port side, there is the access for the service pantry. And here we have access to the foyer. The dining room, like um, the rest of the boat, has a very distinctive uh, flair of art deco design. Particularly above the dining table, there is a beautiful chandelier in uh, glass with old leaf panel, which is varnished. And the rest of the ceiling is in Alcantara, which, by the way, all have been replaced in 2017. OK, we are now on the main deck foyer. Uh, so the medic foyer is where guests are welcome either from the main saloon dining room or from the side passage. Uh, there is an elevator that goes to the four, four decks. So from lower deck there are four guest cabins, uh, then to main deck, then to bridge deck where you have two VIP cabins and then to the sun deck where you have the owner's cabin. And there's of course the staircase that goes around, um, around the, the elevator. Please follow me in the, to the lower deck uh, to visit the guest cabins. And as you walk through, you will notice the embossed leather, which is a very elegant uh, detail. And it's also absorbed the sounds. Okay, now we are now on the lower deck, uh, guest foyer. Uh, serviced by the, the stairwell and uh, the elevator. And the elevator is also uh, wheelchair friendly and can access all the decks from here to the sun deck. Aft we have the two uh, double cabins and forward we have the two twin cabins. So this is the double cabin port side 
Uh, you have a little study, double bed, queen size, TV screen. All the board is equipped. The audiovisual has all been replaced uh, in uh, 2018. Uh, screens, all the systems, and the uh, vessel is equipped with Calidescape for home cinema and Apple TV. Aft of the cabin, there is the bathroom. Okay, now here it's the um, starboard uh, aft guest cabin. Um, same details as uh, the whole boat, mahogany um, woodwork, uh, gold plated uh, knobs, uh, honey, onyx uh, on all the countertops. The um, controls for the, the audiovisual is with an iPad, like all the cabins and all the guest areas. And ensuite with a shower room and a bathroom. Okay, in the lower deck uh, foyer, there is a pantry also with a uh, dumb waiter. So the dumb waiter service uh, all the decks, so from lower deck to the owner's deck on the sun deck. And forward here, we have the port side twin uh, guest cabin. As we walk forward of the main deck lobby, uh, there is a powder room. And further than the powder room, we have another entry, which leads to the guest cabin or captain cabin, or eventually a massage cabin. So it is a double cabin with a double bed, and the double bed is a Murphy bed, so the the whole bed gets um, lifted into the, the bulkhead and then it can be used uh, with a mass as a massage room with a table massage. So we are now on the bridge deck foyer and there's a corridor leading to uh, the two VIP cabins. And if you can see the, the beautiful details with the um, Oney Onyx uh, backlit, which is very elegant. And of course you have the stainless steel um, that reflects the light from the exterior. So two VIP cabins, both have a double bed, queen bed, uh, en suite with um, wardrobe and beautiful uh, windows so you can really enjoy the, the landscape and the, the scenery uh, while in navigation or at anchor. So the bridge deck uh, sky lounge, full beam, a lot of space. We have uh, very convivial area where you can be several people sitting. Home cinema, 84 inch uh, TV screen and uh, big windows to see the scenery. Most of the time the guests are keeping the doors open and it becomes an incredible uh, social place uh, between the interior with the sky lounge and the exterior with the alfresco dinner table. On the bridge deck aft, um, we have a beautiful uh, alfresco table, uh, now dressed for eight, which can be extended to 12. Uh, two um, large um, L-shaped sofas uh, on port side with a coffee table. And uh, the sweet spot on, the, on this deck is the, the two armchairs facing aft and the transparent uh, bell walk. And above that, there is a retractable sun awning, so you can um, create shade as well on this area of the boat. Now we are on the sun deck, which is uh, in fact the owner's deck. So it's a totally private deck uh, reserved for the owner. We enter through the wardrobe uh, with plenty of uh, hanging cabinets. As we move into the owner's uh, stateroom, you see the amazing light you have. We are on the fifth, uh, on the fifth deck and we have those big windows. You look at the decoration, you have mother of pearl at the back of the bed, uh, still the same mahogany, uh, onyx, and we are completely open to the aft deck, which is also the private deck for the owner. And here, if we follow me, uh, you will see the bathroom. The owner's bathroom is, uh, is totally outstanding. It's a beautiful uh, display of uh, 
lovely panels of uh, gold um, one onyx. Uh, you have a big shower with rain shower. You have uh, a bath with uh, jet and uh, balneotherapy and big windows as well. It's a lovely, lovely area. Okay, facing the owner's bed, you have the view on the sun deck aft exterior. Okay, still on the owner's deck, uh, sun deck, which is totally private, uh, lead, uh, leading to the owner's cabin. Uh, you have a seating arrangement, a coffee table, uh, the treadmill. Uh, the extension here has been extended after construction and with uh, sliding uh, windows. So this area can be totally uh, protected from the wind. And uh, aft of the sun deck, you have uh, again this uh, transparent bird walk. So you can look at the, at the wake as you go uh, on the way uh, at sea. Hi there. So now we are on the forward of the sun deck, um, which is a very private place for the owner, uh, protected from the wind uh, with um, umbrellas you can uh, keep at anchor. It's a very chill place to be and to read a book and relax. Okay, now bridge deck um, in the bridge, navigation bridge. Uh, beautiful, I mean the windows are very good, excellent visibility in the bridge. You have uh, seven uh, Atland screens. Um, the boat is equipped with uh, zero speed uh, quantum uh, stabilizers. In navigation, as I said before, the cruising speed is 12 and a half. That gives a range of uh, 3,300 nautical miles. You have uh, two MTUs power and two uh, Northern Light uh, generator of 150 kV each for the, the power on board. Aft of the bridge you have the uh, officer's office and the navigation equipment for communication in, uh, behind, the, um, behind the, the navigation bridge. It's a, it's a nice also aspect that it's, uh, it's a central console so you can walk around your navigation console and also it's very good for the watch because you have a very good visibility uh, of the exterior. Okay, now this is also a very nice feature. Forward of the navigation bridge, there is this open area with built-in um, sofas, a big round table, storage underneath the sofas and forward you have the foredeck with uh, the rescue tender and the anchor winch. It's very spacious, they have some umbrellas as well um, when you're at anchor. Okay, now we are on the side deck, uh, main deck, starboard. I'd like to show you the detail of those uh, wind protection doors, uh, which you find on both sides of the boat. Please take notice of the, the paint, it's in ex excellent condition. Uh, the boat was fully resprayed, uh, hull and superstructure in 2018-19. As we walk by the side of the main deck saloon, you can see those very big windows, the see-through bull walk, which allows the guests to enjoy the scenery as you are underway. And now we are going to walk as you would arrive to the um, foyer of the main deck. Forward of the dining room uh, we have uh, the service pantry with a dumb waiter that's uh, serviced from the lower deck to the sun deck. Um, pantry service area and then we enter into the professional galley uh, which is um, extremely well equipped and for the luck of the chef, there are very big windows. Quite often the galleys on most yachts are um, not so well uh, lit up. So this is a great environment to produce delicious food. Okay, this is the, the crew mess, uh, which is just forward of the, the galley. Uh, this is totally unique. Um, very, very few uh, yachts have the crew mess uh, at the level of the main deck. So it's a very convivial and um, agreeable place for the crew to see what's happening outside. 
Forward of the crew mess, uh, there is the professional laundry. Uh, as you can see, we are in the engine room. Um, it's a very well maintained uh, yacht and the engine room reflects it very well. Uh, both engines had their top end service done uh, in uh, 2019, uh, the same for the generators. Um, the, the exhaust for the generators and the engines have been replaced. Um, the rest of the equipment is equally well maintained. There's a lot of space, a lot of volume, so everything is very accessible. It's a, it's a very functional uh, engine room. So aft of the engine room and the control room, uh, we have the, um, the ga Tender garage uh, with a Castle D 21 feet, uh, 260 horsepower, Castle D jet drive. You have the two kayaks that is stored there. You have also two uh, sea bobs. Uh, it's quite easy to um, extract the, um, the, the tender uh, from the garage. Uh, there's a central beam that extends outside the, the swim platform. And the swim platform opens up and there's a swim ladder that gets sliding uh, to access to the sea. Thank you for joining me on board Mirgap 6. I hope you enjoyed the tour. Should you wish to receive any further information, don't hesitate to contact me, antoine.laric at fraseyacht.com. We'd love to see you on board and see you soon.